Alright guys, here's another one of my Tesla videos. Um, thought I'd show you my setup first. This is just my server. It's, uh, it's out of my shop. I've got everything out here. I've got the woodworking tools and everything. Yeah, as you can see, I'm a Stanford guy. So, you know. Okay. Well, this right here is my first Tesla coil. It's nothing fancy. Um... I guess taking the Tesla Roadster logo. I thought that was pretty slick. Uh, right here we have the primary coil, which is just, I think it's like eight, eight or 10 gauge copper wire. And we have an acrylic coated secondary with 28 gauge magnet wire. Our top load is kitchen grease catchers for a stove um, the wire is this bare it's right there I need to figure out how to attach it I wish I could figure out a good substitute for a torrid but I cannot f find one at the moment and I've always seen the ones where they have these type of bolts at the top I wish I could find something like that but I guess I'll make do with what I have now this is just a box where I can get to all the electrical components just for show where you can see where everything's wired up nothing special I've got line it a line in hole for all the wires going in and out of the system and that just hooks back on there uh, this is I had a video earlier that was my first video so I probably sounded retarded or whatever but um, this is an almost completed bottle capacitor. We had this set up earlier, as I mentioned in my first video. This has got the bolt, the two nuts on both ends, and one of these with a bottled wine cap. And it's sealed with hot glue in there, so it's an airtight seal. You're not going to get that off. Well, you could get it off if you want to, but you're not. Um, and a seven inch bolt. Not like that. One. That's just an example. And you have mineral oil, which is the top part, you can see it. And then you have your super saturated salt solution. Um, and this will be in turn wrapped with aluminum foil on the sides and on the bottom here. And it'll be taped up with electrical tape, so it'll be all black set up. Look pretty slick. These actually don't have a very high, well they do, they're, they're good capacitors, but if you want something a little bit better, not that much, it's not really that much to make a difference. Brown bottles work the best. That's what I've heard. The Geek Group guys say that, Chris, you know, all of them. And that's what I've heard, you know, especially with their chemical composition of the glass. It tends to have better RF uh, properties. So that one's filled up and everything, I've just got to go to Home Depot tomorrow and get more bolts and stuff. So here's my spark gap. It's essentially just a three inch piece of PVC. And like it has it has one of those I can't for the life of me figure out what those are. No remember the name. Got one of these, got two quarter inch bolts on I forgot to mention this is a quarter inch nut. And it's all the same set, so it's quarter inch nut. It's got a completely smooth circular surface on it. I mean, it's completely smooth. And that has better conductive properties. So it'll arc over better from what I've been told. Um, same setup on the other side. And it stands perfectly still. Um, I was thinking about getting a cover for it. So, you know, you don't get exposed to the ultraviolet light and stuff. But I've just opted for welder's goggles because I think it looks pretty cool if you can see the spark gap. And uh, this is over here. This is just the caps and stuff that I use. Nuts and all that stuff, good stuff. And another thing I want to mention, for the top nut of this capacitor, put a little bit of Loctite or some Gorilla Glue or something, Crazy Glue or something on there. And then tighten it with a wrench as tight as tight as you can get it. 
and that'll be a good, really good seal on it. And they'll last forever. I mean, I've used in Jacob Platter systems, even though you don't really need them. I've, you know, I've hit a 15,000 volt, 60 milliamp neon sign transformer at it, and it's they've worked flawlessly, and I've run them for like nine hours at a time. I mean, it's they're they're great. I've heard a lot of people busting them and stuff. Not that big a deal. I've never had that issue. So that's just my setup for all that. What I want to do ultimately is this is a three inch, no three foot, thirty six inch pipe or thirty six inch pipe, PVC pipe, and I want to get twenty two gauge copper wire and make a Tesla coil out of that. This one was my first attempt at a secondary. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, that's way too small, but, you know, whatever. I ran out of wire. Didn't have a lot of wire. And this is coated with acrylic, and it looks really, really nice. Um, so I plan on using that in this system. And then I'll use a nylon or polyethylene base so everything will be clear. And for the primer, I'll use a quarter inch soft copper tubing. And for a tour, I'd hopefully I get something better. Um, my neon sign transformer actually unfortunately went dead, so I ordered a new one. It's not the you know the greatest thing. It's a Franciformer, uh, twelve uh, twelve kilovolt thirty milliamp neon sign transformer. So that'll be coming Tuesday, and hopefully I'll be able to finish this setup by then. Okay, thanks.